I'm Tamsang Avuman Mshlongo, the president of CEPAO, um, currently working for Impact, the paper making company, and then coming from the Congress of CEPAO, I was re-elected re re as the president of the union. There were some challenges here and there. Uh, everything that talks to a delegation of 140 plus uh, delegates will have some challenges, but I think we've overcome all those challenges up to so far. Um, or there's not much now. We, are going to, we look like we're going to start on, and, and, and run with the program until we finish. Uh, we had some challenges here and there, which will be, look, if you want to transport all your delegates from different regions, that will need a lot of work in dealing with your bookings and accommodation and all those things. But yeah, so far so good. We have done, we have managed that process through now. The mood is, is, is together. We allocated all delegates to arrive a night before so that we can be able to start as early as we can in the, uh, on the first day. So that was the reason why we said all delegates must arrive a day before. So hence then they all arrived yesterday. Um, I started working with the company, as I said, I'm an employee of the company, which is MPEC now. It used to be Monty some years back. Um, political, I've been involved with politics for quite a long time, even before I started working for MPEC. Then I started working for Monty in 1996. Uh, and then I joined the struggle right away because I was aware what are the challenges that uh, in the environment of a workplace and then outside the workplace are the challenges that you need to, to, to face with. So I started working from that point and then three years down the line I was elected as a, as a short steward. I wasn't part of a dedication of the major because the power it was, it was a major of two unions, which was a chemical union and a paper union. So we measured those two to form one union in 1999. But all by that time, I was already a shop steward. So I've been part of this union since that time. So I've been part of the struggles that I've went through, challenges that we've went through as an organization. So I've been part of that as I think I'm part of the furniture now. The organization needs to change with time, and then sometimes back at that point in time when I started working, you'll find that most of the companies will have their own what you call hostels where people are staying, and then it was easy to coordinate meetings from that point because people are congested in one area. And then these days it's different. You've got new uh, members who are coming from institutions of higher learning who doesn't understand, some of them doesn't understand the politics, and they don't understand the history where we're coming from as a labor movement. They think. Uh, they can represent themselves, only then later on they'll realize that now the challenges are bigger than they thought. So the, the, the union as well needs to change, it has to, to move with time and then make sure that we move with technology. Those members then, uh, it was easy for them to, to, if you call them to the general meetings and then they will all come to those meetings. The members of today, they would like to read something, you have to send them on through WhatsApp on all those social media and then they, they, family, they, they close their closer to tokens in that way. So the union has to move with time and then we change that. that, that. The total delegation from different regions is 141 that we were expecting to be in the venue. Uh, with additional staff, which will be our crew, which are not the delegates of the conference. Those are the staff that are going to be helping in here and there with what are the issues that needs to be taken care of, which are the head, store, head of staff. So, but the delegation, yes, is, is 141. Yeah, we are celebrating 20 years because the power, uh, the merger was in 1999, so 2019 is the merger, is the year, 20th anniversary of the power. We, we have lost, those were the very painful years of Sepau, and we don't want to see Sepau going back there, moving forward. So my duty as a president of the union, I must make sure that I unify all forces and all regions of this union to make sure that they work towards one common goal, and then deliver to the needs of the workers and grow the union. In that process, we have lost membership, uh, and then we have been, they have been in fighting. I think those are the years that we need to keep them in the past and focus on the future and rebuild and rebrand this union. We've started that process uh, for a, quite a long time. We haven't had this, this gathering of this stage, our uh, conferences there, so things were not happening correctly. We have started in the right footing. We have started doing the program. We have already started distributing T-shirts to rebrand the union. So we're building the union from that level. I'm positive. If I look at from the Congress time until now, the growth is there to be seen. So we, we can only do better to move back to whether above 80,000 
membership by 2022, at least this is the target that we, 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 we find ourselves with. If then it comes to the push, that's get 100,000, that would be good for me. By the time we go to Congress, we want to see a bigger as a power than now. Yes, there are preparation within COSATU because Remade Day belongs to COSATU. We are affiliated to COSATU, so we have already started the programs. We will be going around as well with our shops to attend their respective locals and regions to mobilize them to be part of the May Day, knowing very well that we're not going to be taking them all to Wazul Natal because the main May Day is in Wazul Natal in Devon. But other regions as well or provinces will be hosting May Days in different areas. But yes, we have put budget in place. We want to transport people to those May Days. We want that May Day to be a success. And then building to that, we want to make sure that those members attend to those May Days. Uh, Congress of Sepao have resolved is a, is, a, is a resolution that has been there for the previous years, but indeed, in even the past Congress, they have resolved that we're going to be part of the ANC. We, are, we, are, we feel strong that the ANC is the only organization that can, that can give us what we need as, as work. We know not got it on a silver plate. We have to fight for it, but they are the movement that they can make. So the, the resolution of the Congress is clear and set forward that we have to support uh, the ANC. Hence, this T-shirt we're wearing today is in, in the, is a symbol of that. Yeah, there are challenges that you have raised through COSATU because remember that uh, we are an affiliate of COSATU. We have raised some issues with, with the ANC. These are the issues that we are not happy with. We've got people that we're not happy with, uh, that their names are not good, uh, they are not a uh, good representative of the organization. We have raised those issues, and there are process that are taking place, which the power national leadership are going to be part of those bilaterals with the ANC, how we feel about certain individuals in the list. So we are not happy with certain individuals, but the yeah, program of the organization we are happy with, the manifesto we help with, but the individual that we need to be representing the, the, the movement, we are not happy with certain individuals. We, we're facing a situation where one, the other dilemma that the country is faced with is that we find that a lot of parents are single parents. There is no coordination. When we grew up some years back, we found that a child will grow up in a family arrangement where there is a mother and a father and a grandfather and a grandmother. Where we're sitting today is different people came all together. So we need to do more in as far as helping those single parents and say what needs to be done differently. And then I'm say, always say to men that they need to treat their women with respect. They are the future of the country. They are the one who can make us to be where we are. Without them, we are not going to move any further. So those are the issues that need to we have to confront as a country and confront in different aspects wherever we are. We have the platform that I think this is a societal issue. So as members of the unions as well, we have to take our part in addressing those. But beyond that, we need to cooperate with society and address those issues because they are, they are, that's where they are based. Yes, what we're busy doing now, uh, we busy uh, with the, we want to launch the, the young workers a forum with the union so when all those young shops that can feel that they are part of, of, of the union in that process when they are part of the union we educate them and help them in growing them to be the future of the country so because if we're not contributing as, as workers no one else was going to help us in that regard. So we're doing that. There is a program that we have started as well. COSAT has started a program. We need to implement that program. On the, on the gender side of it, we have do have someone who's we've employed with the Union Full Summit at, at, a, at a gender test at nationally. We need to improve programs of that nature that you can grow uh, with those issues and, and, face, uh, and address challenges that are facing uh, women, in particular even in the workplaces. There are challenges.